Hey everyone, I'm back, and well, a lot of things have happened since I last made a video. Ryan Miller retired, David Bax is supposedly retiring, Trevor Zegras is finally growing into a possible number one center role, and then there are a few things that happened at the draft, and Ryan Getzlaff resigned. So I will just focus on two things, which are the NHL draft and Ryan Getzlaff re-signing. The first is Mason McTavish in the NHL draft, chosen at number three by us, the Ducks. And I was a bit hesitant at first, but looking back, he's basically Ryan Getzlaff 2.0. Now, some fans, of course, not surprisingly, are worried that this guy could be like Nick Ritchie 2.0, which I personally hope is not Nick Ritchie 2.0 because let's just say Nick Ritchie 2.0, uh, sorry, Nick Ritchie, he did okay in Boston to be fair, but he was streaky and it just, maybe he just wasn't being coached by the right person. So, Personally, the Nick Ritchie thing was more of a Dallas Eakins fault, in my opinion. Now, what does that mean for the rest of the team in the future? It means we are kind of going back to the past with the whole physical high-scoring team, but at the same time, we now have finesse guys like Zegras. So, Zegras and Drysdale are that newer generation of players who are fast and can score, and more finesse, not not very like physical, hard hitting guys, just just right. They they're the exact fit for the NHL today. Mason McTavish is more of a throwback player who plays physical, uses his body to, you know, get the puck across the ice and whatever, you know. Hockey stereotypes get the pucks in deep, um, but the other big part about the draft was the whole. This, this was just so weird. Drafting Logan Mayu, who was convicted of a very serious crime. And I just find it very odd that, that the guy was even drafted. And it makes me wonder, what the heck is Mark Bergevin just thinking? I mean, he, he drafted a guy who did some very bad things. Let's just say that to put, the, to put, to put it in simple words. He, he did some very bad things. Now, Logan Mayu himself said, please don't draft me, but for some reason Montreal still drafted him. I don't know what the heck is going on with hockey culture, why it's like that, so I, I'm, I'm befuddled. I don't know other, I, I can't think of more adjectives to just describe that. And then at 32, in the 32 slot, the last pick of the first round, Chicago comes up, and Chicago has a lot of sexual assault allegations happening uh, recently, especially with a former uh, training, a former training coach or something, a video coach supposedly sexually assaulting former players. And that, the NHL is just a PR nightmare. I don't know how ESPN is going to handle this because when the Logan Mayu thing happened, all of the commentators, even, you know, Sam Cosentino talking about cancel culture and whatever, um, everybody universally agreed that this was a bad idea. So that was surprising. Um, the Chicago Blackhawks won once again. Even, even they were trying to, like, minimize the chatter about the sexual assault allegations, but... Oh man, it's just such a weird way to end the draft. Everything was going so well, and then that happened. So, huh. the draft was weird. And then, Ryan Getzlaff re-signed with the Ducks for 4.5 million US for one year. Um, a little overpaying, but... I don't think we're the type of team that's going to use up the cap space right away because next year is when the good draft happens. Now, I'm not saying that the Owen Power draft is bad, but this year, the 2021 NHL draft was, was a draft wherein 
there is no clear cut number one. You don't know. It's not like you know the the Connor McDavid year or you know the the Austin Matthews year. Now you you knew that there was a clear number one. This year, any anyone could end up being a star. So. Maybe that's why the Ducks realize, you know what, we can put, we can give Getz off a big contract. You know, it's here's a thank you contract. Now help us guide the new generation to the future. And I'm excited, but again, I realize it was a bit of an overpay. But we'll see. Maybe this 82 game season will be different, and Ryan Getz off will finally hit the 1000 point plateau for the ducks in one team i mean it's so rare these days right in any sport for a player to be so committed to one team and i hope gesap does that and breaks temu solani's record of 1001 so will he get traded i don't know but i'm really hoping that you know the delta variant <laughs> does not ruin plans of a lot of nhl teams i'm really hoping that the U.S. and Canada somehow manage, um, manage the Delta variant because let's face it, COVID's not ending anytime soon. So we have to be careful with everything that we're doing, mask up, and just stay safe. Uh, yeah, that's about it for me. I will see you next time.